All right, so this is our four ton clicker press. This is great for leather, vinyl, rubber, other soft materials. So a couple things, when you get it out of the box, it comes with four bolts so you can bolt it to the table for security. This has a full swivel head, so it's great. You can get full access to the cutting board, which it comes with. So you're working with about a nine by 12 inch cutting surface. There are also holes here for greasing. Uh, so make sure you keep it greased up. So you've got a three inch height. You can use dies that are anywhere from half an inch up to inch and a quarter. You can do cutting with your dies. You can also do embossing. So if you're embossing logos, letters, you name it. We're also now stocking a couple of different dies. So your circle coasters, your keychains, a couple different pieces to start playing with. So without further ado, Ted. All right, guys, let's do this. So what we're gonna start with is figuring out what die we're using. So what Buckle Guy stocks is they stock the inch and a quarter, but as Hugh said, there's gonna be different die thicknesses. So the first thing we have to do is set up the clicker to that specific thickness that you're going to be using. So we'll be using this inch and a quarter. So how we're gonna start is we're just gonna put it down in the center of the cutting board. We're gonna swing the head back over and now we're gonna push it down. And it's perfect because we're getting a little pressure right here. So that means we're ready to cut. If you are using a thinner die, you just rotate this counterclockwise and that's gonna move the head downwards so that when you click to the bottom, it'll make contact with the die. So we're gonna get our material. I'm gonna place that in the cutting board. Let's see. So this is a thick eight to 10 ounce piece of bridal leather. I'm gonna line up the die right in the back corner so that we get a good cutting yield. And now we're gonna swing it over and just press down. So you hear that, it means we're good to go. So lift it up and rotate it back over. And you have your cutout piece right here. So what you notice, if it isn't set up to the proper height, you might be getting a slight cut where you might see some fraying on the ends. That means you just have to rotate um, the head slightly farther down. That way, when you do make contact with the cutting or with the cutting die, it'll go into the cutting board slightly. That's what you're aiming for. So another feature of this is that you can use pretty big dies. Um, and what we'd call this is a double click. So you're not gonna only click it once for a cut, you're gonna have to rotate it with the swivel. Yep, so we got some material here. So again, this is just too large for the cutting board. So we're gonna place it down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the majority of the die on the cutting surface. So as you can see right here, this is coming off. But what we're gonna do is you're gonna swing it over. We're gonna make our first cut right here. Cut through. Then one more over here. And now what we can do is move this fully off the cutting surface. And we're gonna pick it up and slightly move it over so that now the right side is in the center of the cutting board. You just wanna make sure that if once you have made that cut, that the die is still lined up with all your other cutting. Now we're gonna come over to the right side, cut through, and we're just gonna do one more cut in the center. There we go. So one more thing we wanna show you is the ability to use embossing dies. So we have a logo die, it's a one inch magnesium die. Gonna put it right there. So just like clicking out um, with the die, we're gonna swing the head over and we just made sure that when we come down, we're getting a little bit of pressure. Push down as much as you want. You can swing back over. You have a nice deboss right there. And obviously uh, you can raise it or lower it for a deeper or less deboss. Place that right over here. Another awesome thing you can do with this machine is you can click out belts. So what you do is you'll take your belt straps. This one's obviously a little too short, but um, you can take your belt die right here so you can get one for the tip end and the back end. So what you do is you'll place your strap on the clicking surface. This has two guides right here. So you're gonna place it right in the center of the die or in the center of the guides. Place it on the cutting surface. So you're gonna swing it over. We're gonna to have to do a double click here on the right side and then we'll go over to the left. So we'll bring it over. Right down in there. Move it over to this side. Right there. So now, perfect tip die. So this will obviously speed things up quite a bit in your workshop if you're making a lot of belts. 
So there's a couple different uses of our four-tongue clicker press. Thanks.